the roots alpha and beta of a quadratic equation satisfy the relations alpha plus beta equals to alpha square plus beta square and alpha beta equals to alpha square into beta square what is the number of such quadratic equations first let's write down if we know that alpha comma beta are zeros in that scenario what will be the quadratic equation x square minus x into sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus product of zeros alpha beta now what are the extra conditions we have been given we have been given that alpha plus beta equals to alpha square plus beta square we also know that alpha beta equals to alpha square beta square now let's try to work on this condition simplify this we will have alpha beta into alpha beta minus 1 equals to 0 that will give us alpha beta equals to 0 or alpha beta equals to 1 so let's take the first scenario alpha beta equals to 0 here and the second scenario alpha beta equals to 1 if alpha beta equals to 0 there can be two scenarios either alpha equals to 0 or beta equals to 0 if alpha equals to 0 then what will be the value of beta let us go ahead and substitute here alpha is 0 beta equals to 0 square plus beta square so beta equals to beta square that happens only when beta equals to 1 so we know that when alpha equals to 0 beta equals to 1 or beta equals to 0 then alpha is equals to 1 the next scenario we have is alpha beta equals to 1 if alpha beta equals to 1 then what will be the values of alpha comma beta we need to find out so for that first let's find out what is alpha plus beta value to know alpha plus beta value let's go to the first equation what we have and find out what is alpha plus beta whole square alpha plus beta whole square equals to alpha square plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta but in this scenario we know alpha beta is 1 so what we have now if you take alpha plus beta equals to z what we have is z square equals to z plus 2 or can we write down z square minus z minus 2 equals to 0 z minus 2 into z plus 1 equals to 0 or z equals to 2 or z equals to minus 1 so if alpha beta equals to 1 then alpha plus beta values can be either 2 or minus 1 so now we have all our different scenarios so let's substitute the values and see what are the quadratic equations we have so first scenario when alpha equals to 0 beta equals to 1 alpha equals to 0 beta equals to 1 equation will be x square minus x when alpha equals to 1 and beta equals to 0 then also we will get the same equation x square minus x equals to 0 so this is done then let's go to alpha beta equals to 1 and alpha plus beta is equals to 2 another scenario we have is alpha beta equals to 1 and alpha plus beta equals to minus 1 now for this our equation will be x square minus 2x plus 1 equals to 0 we also need to consider another scenario when alpha beta equals to 0 in that scenario we can have both alpha and beta equals to 0 so we have alpha equals to 0 and also beta equals to 0 so that scenario will give us another quadratic equation we can write down here alpha equals to 0 beta equals to 0 that will give us x square equals to 0 now let us consider the last case where we have alpha beta equals to 1 and alpha plus beta equals to minus 1 we will have x square plus x 
plus 1 equals to 0. So we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. Total we have 4 quadratic equations which satisfy the condition that alpha plus beta equals to alpha square plus beta square and alpha beta equals to alpha square beta square. Let us have a recap of this. We have been given that there is a quadratic equation for which the roots are alpha beta and also satisfies the condition that alpha plus beta is alpha square plus beta square and alpha beta equals to alpha square beta square. So, we started with alpha beta equals to alpha square beta square. When we simplified, we understood we can have scenarios where alpha equals to 0, beta equals to 0, alpha equals to 0, beta equals to 1, alpha equals to 1, beta equals to 0. Now, these are all for alpha beta equals to 0. When alpha beta equals to 1, we understood that when alpha beta equals to 1, we can have alpha plus beta equals to 2 and alpha beta, alpha plus beta equals to minus 1. So, total we have 1, 2, 3, 4 quadratic equations.